Hello everyone, how are you? So today I'm going to share a very good POS software which is totally free and uh, it is very good for those businesses who are just starting up or who don't have very complex system and they don't need a very high-end uh, POS software. So if you have a single counter or your business is not too complex and it's very nice software. So let's start. So this is the uh, name of the software, Aronium. You can go to veronium.com and download the software. So let's see some features of the software first. So first of all, uh, which I can also say that it's very easy to use as I have uh, implemented the software for about 100 of customers. So uh, we got very good response and it was very easy for even a new person who have never used the POS system. He can also get a good grip within a day or two. So after that, they have a good discount system, fixed or percentage discount. You can apply on the full card or on a single item. And uh, so there are predefined customer discounts as well, promotions and happy hour. After that, a very nice feature is inventory management. You can keep track of your inventory. So basically, uh, software will keep track of your purchasing and sales. And at the end of the day, on any time, you can just go to your stock section and see how much stock you are left with. And they also have some uh, stock alert feature. So if your stock of a certain item is low, you can enable the stock uh, alert and it will alert you if the stock is low for that item. Okay, so some other features that the software also supports barcode. So you can save the barcode for the products and scan the barcode at the time of sale. To speed up the process of selling and it also have uh, a support for barcode weight scale like uh, Rongta weight scale and any other weight scale so it can support all weight scales and inventory management network environment it means if you are using more than one so have one counters or you have one uh, back office and one sell, uh, sales counter so you will need to have this uh, paid plugin for this software but if you have only one counter, then you can only, you don't need the paid version. You can use the free version and that will be good enough. So after that, the security of the software is very nice. You can, uh, you can define different users and you can uh, allot them different type of access levels. So it will be very good if you, if you have staff or if you have a salesman, so it will be, it will be very nice and secure. Uh, you can also set up custom payment types like credit card, checks or any other if you want. You can split the payment at the time of payment. This is a very basic and very uh, uh, very basic and too much necessary uh, what we can say feature in the POS systems that some customers want to split the payment in cash and card. Half they want to pay in cash, half they want to pay uh, through their cards. So this free version as well support this feature and we can easily split the payments. Okay, and then you can split the order as well. Transfer the order between tables, one table to another table. And loyalty system, promotions, custom receipts. You can have your own logo, website, email addresses, or any header or footer you can mention on the receipts. And this is for the user. And uh, credit payments, you can uh, manage with this. You can have notes in your uh, receipts. At the time of uh, selling, you can add a note to a uh, sale, so that note will appear. Note, note will appear on the printed receipt. Print stations. This is also a paid uh, plugin, uh, but for those who don't have much complex system, they will not need such uh, plugins. Uh, named order. You can order a name, and uh, after that, logo and stock control. Stock control is the more control over your stock quantities uh, with low stock warnings. So this is what I was talking about. So you can enable this and get warnings and a certain item, items quantity is uh, below what you have specified. So other than this, it comes with two color colors, black and dark and uh, light. I think it have uh, one or two more. So let's start with downloading the software. So if you, uh, when you are here to download, it will show you two versions. One is standalone free version and the second is networking version. So in this video, we will just talk about the standalone free version. 
uh, which is which is I think enough and enough for most businesses. So let's download. Okay, download is complete. Let's start the installation. We'll select English language. Okay. Okay, uh, here it is showing a list of plugins. In this, you can see that there are some plugins which are free and some uh, which it is giving us 30 days free trial. So I will not go with the free trial. I will just uncheck these because these are some advanced features which we don't need so free plugins are enough click next okay Aronium installation is done and uh, we can press the finish button to start Aronium okay uh, language English and press the start here you need to give your email address to register Press enter. Okay, so you need to create password for admin. I will just go for one, two, three and press enter. So here it is asking uh, which layout you want to choose, uh, whether prices are displayed and printed before or after text. So normally prices, uh, we choose this one. Uh, so prices will be displayed and printed in receipt with text included. And this one, if you choose, it will uh, prices will be displayed and printed without text included. So if you choose any one, you can uh, later change this in the settings easily. So I will go with after text and press next. There are two settings of uh, layout. So one is standard and one is visual. So if you are using uh, barcodes and you don't need the touch screen too much, uh, if you are like a small grocery shop or something like that, uh, you will not need to use the touch screen a lot. So you can go with standard and you can uh, just scan the barcodes using barcode scanner and that's it. But if you have, if you are a coffee shop or a small restaurant, then it is easier to use the touch screen to um, input orders. And so in this case, you can use visual. So I will go with visual and uh, let's click next. Close and continue. Okay, so our software is uh, ready to use. This is the main screen where we uh, register the sales, where we do entries and uh, every time we need to sell something, this is the main screen we will use. So in this screen, you can see some buttons on the top, these. So I will tell about these one by one. Uh, so in the search, you can easily search a product by name, code or barcode. So we don't have any products yet so let's go back and the transfer button it is used to transfer the order which is already saved from one like if you have tables or if you have uh, floor plan set up then you can use this option to transfer the order from one table to another table this is useful when you have a restaurant with tables and you saved a customer's order for one specific table but then the customer requests to change the table so in the system you can easily transfer his order to his new table so after this we have discounts currently we don't have items so i cannot show you and new sale a refund button to refund any sale so after that we have save sale this is for the purpose uh, to keep the sale save and then continue after some time this is for payment when you need to finish the sale close the sale you can go to this and this f12 cash button this is like a quick sale uh, when you have like um, when there is no change involved and customer pays the exact amount of cash which is uh, the bill due so you can just press the cash button and the bill will be recorded so you can also search from here by selecting either barcode code or the name and if you want to wipe the bill you can press this okay so let's go to do some basic settings first which I like to do every time First of all, I just change it to the light mode color scheme as it is more nice layout visual and the messages which appear on the top, they should close in one second and cash in on application start. 
So it means when you will start the application, the Aronium app software um, in the morning, then it will ask you the cache in how much cache you are putting in the till or the cache box or the cache drawer uh, for your uh, day. So also it will ask you to select the business day on application start. This is a very good uh, option for those restaurants or uh, coffee shops which are operating uh, after midnight, 12 o'clock. So now basically if you close your software and open it after like midnight, but you are still uh, making sales for the same day and you don't want the sales to be recorded in the next date. So it will ask you the business day and you can select the date, previous date. So all sales which you will make till you close in uh, like three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning. So all sales will, will be recorded in the previous day, not in the next day. And here you can select which buttons you want to display on the top of the menu. Um, I will just disable some. Okay, after that we can go to order and payment. You can enable use floor plans. Floor plans is suitable for uh, restaurants and uh, coffee shops which have tables and floor settings like ground floor, first floor, uh, in inside or outside area. So you can also enable sound options. That's very nice when you are uh, punching some items so it, you will know by the sound that it's already done. Default search name. Uh, for grocery shops who are using barcode scanners, the best one is barcode. You need to select barcode as default search. So every time you scan an item, it will automatically add it to the card. So uh, show search options, we can keep it enabled. Default discount type. Default discount type we can set either percentage or fixed. Percentage will be like 10%, 20% or if you want fixed like from uh, 1 real, you can uh, give discount of 100 pesa like this. So separate row for each item, no need prevent negative inventory. Uh, for the payment, display receipt print dialog. Uh, this this uh, setting, when you will finish the finish one sale, you will record one sale. It will show you a dialog where uh, you will have option to either print the receipt or just leave it. So it is good if you have so many sales and sometimes customers don't need the receipts, they just walk away. And so it's better if you keep this print dialog on. So sometimes you can avoid printing the receipts to save the paper. But if you want to want the Aronium software to automatically print the receipts all the time, then you can keep uh, keep this off. Uh, but we will turn it on here. Merge items, single item discount allowed, shortcut keys, payment confirmation, order name, we don't need yet. Okay, in the product settings. So this is, uh, these are already set up and uh, we, don't, we don't need to change these settings. This is the setting for weight scale. If you have a weight scale, uh, like you use weight scale in your shop, then you can uh, configure it here. I will make another video for this also. Customer display. If you have a customer display, uh, like the pole, VFT display, if you have that, you can configure it here very easily. Just connect it with your uh, POS system and uh, it will just select enable it and select the COM port. That's it. Uh, test display and you will see a test message on the VFT display. That's it. It will be installed. So we will not do the email settings yet. Print options. Uh, print options also we will configure. And for the database, here you can download your database backup or you can enable auto backup. If you enable auto backup, you will have two options, backup database on application start or application close. So normally we do it on application close and we select the backup location like desktop or somewhere and we enable the remove old database old backup like after six months you can see in days it will be 180 days so we can do like this and i will make another video for this backup the best way how to make a backup of anonium automatically uh, so you don't need to worry about keeping backup and doing backups manually all the time uh, we can do cloud backups which will be free of cost so you do you will not have to pay anything so let's save this.